happening. This is the Frank crate. We're gonna open the stuff you guys got because you guys are That's awesome. right. No, you guys are great. Um, actually, was just at a convention with Patrick and got to meet uh, some of you first uh, hand, like in and person, and was totally panel. overwhelmed and was treated like you know royalty. I, I, I can't say enough on you how nice everyone was. Was, you're, but it was it panel? was even more than that. It was the uh, the the pictures you know, how, taken with you? pictures and just how you know people were interested. So I was and it was great. It was your thank first you, eleven. Thank you. Your first eleven is what I do is in a total joke. What was that? The first evidence of what I do is a, not a total joke. You got to see it. No, I right. knew that, but it was, uh, <laughs> right. but you know, we had a lift and tote. We did a lift and tote. <laughs> All right, let's start with the beer of the month, Frank. Beer what, of the what month. What I get you? What I get you? It's a new one. Every guy Dos Equis. Equi Dos Equis. Dos Equis Show the Amber. Picture, Frank. Okay, Dos Equis Amber. Amber. There you go. Now, what, which now is how really is that good. that much better than the original uh, one? Or, uh, I just like darker beer better. Okay. Um, somebody might, or I, I might have another day where it's hot and I want, you know, a lager. But, okay. you know, You're... I love all kinds of beers, you know that. But Dos Equis Amber is really good. And we're waiting for the most interesting man in the world to uh, return. Or return. If he doesn't, uh, if he doesn't uh, show up soon, I'm going to go up there for an interview. I mean, come on. <laughs> So Let's go. So we were just at SoCal Retro Gaming Expo, like Frank mentioned. Uh, you didn't pick anything up from there. Did you get any gifts from anyone in person there? Did someone give you yes, I got the, um, which is probably at your house still because we unloaded recently. It was one of those pixel drawing, uh, pixel oh, things. The big I, one? Yeah, the big one. They oh, got it made for me and gave you, it to me right there. That? I didn't see that. I put it in one of the boxes. Oh, we Oh, you know what that. box I think it's in? Which one? The one that we left there with the t-shirts in it. I mean, with the... The R no, thing. is it real? No, I think I put it in a T-shirt box. Well, you have to find because I didn't see it. Someone yeah. made Frank a beautiful like a pearl art of, a uh, of my of said, my Frank, face. We gotta have that. We can't leave. I'll that. find. No, you I'll packed it. I, remember, I didn't touch it. You yeah, it. it's it's in your right. garage somewhere. Oh, don't geez, worry I'm gonna about be freaking, it. You know, when I lose stuff, I freak the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, I, I I'm like that too. I but tear the house apart. You want to read this or me? Sure. Is it to me? It's to me. It's both of us. To Pat and Frank, this is from Roland from Connecticut. It's been a while since I last wrote to you both. Oh, I remember the name, Roland. How's the demonic heat wave in California? It's not bad. It's not any better in my neck of the woods. Anyway, just to let you both know, I bought that Birds of Connecticut guidebook last month and Infinity Gauntlet this month. Oh, he gave away what he's going to give us. I do have one question for each of, uh, for each of you. Frank, as much, of you, as much as you love booze, what's the worst tasting beer you've ever had? Beer that tasted so apocalyptically foul, it's a nice adverb, you dump it down the genre. Okay, there's been a couple. Actually, actually. Uh, there was the uh, Carl Strauss Red Trolley in a bottle. It was really bad. Uh, Carl Strauss is a really good tap beer, but it has a huge drop off when it's bottled. It's it's bad. And then I had another one. It was some Mexican beer with agave in it or something, and it was pretty much undrinkable. Uh, I've had a couple of stinkers. I'll, I'll answer that. That hyphen wise mm. or stuff. The one with the R. Fucking orange shock top yeah. shit. Oh man, that's like drinking toast, man. It's disgusting. Yeah. It's absolutely disgusting. Yeah, I'm a total it. look, just a regular pale ale or an IPA, Stone Brewing, Sierras. The one the guy uh, sent us uh, the, with the t-shirts, uh, that I think I've had was good. There's a lot of good breweries out there, local too. I'm sure in, sure. in Connecticut or New York, you're, you're, there's some good ones. Actually, I'm probably New England. I would say because the way New England is, like New Hampshire, Vermont, Rhode Island, you're going to find some good micro brews up there. Uh, check it out. And then get back to me, man. Oh, and Voltron, I he, gave he, He's going ahead in the letter without me reading it. I can't believe you, Frank. What? And Pat, what are your thoughts on dumpster diving and would you ever dive in the dumpsters to find whatever goodies you can get your hands on? I would have to see something cool. I'm not gonna go sift around and hope I find something. I'd rather, see, if I see something, I'll get it. What about you, Frank? You I go to that? the landfill too many days out of the month to even consider diving in a dumpster. <laughs> it would have to be a suitcase with $100 bills in it. So I'm looking for what, the, the thing he said he got us. Oh, here it is. So he said, he mentioned this. So in this, the ladder. So he got us, oh wow, the original Infinity Gauntlet number one, not the reprint. 
The original. Let me see. Frank. That's the original. And I am uh, this. I am really jazzed about this because I uh, I'm unfamiliar with it. So this would be like reading a new book. Well, I read, have the so. graphic novel. I'll give you that to read. Well, we'll start with this. Well, this isn't this, is, this isn't all of it though. This I know, but it'll get you know get me curious. I'll just give you the graphic novel, Frank. Don't worry about Very it. Very good. I'll look you up. So thank uh, you so sign so much. P.S. Pat, how's that Voltron pot figure? I think you still have it, dude. Right, and um, I'm you want to Patrick to have it because. You you know, it's from his childhood, not mine. Sure. So that's how we like to collect, right? All right. Thank you so much. You want to open this one? This one's sure. From, uh, this is from Maury Eigen Market. Oh, and know. the Bird Book from Connecticut is uh, is good too. Right. Uh, a little specific, but always good to have, you know, in your pack. I'm gonna dump this out. Okay. You got a note. It's from the Salty Sailor T Daddy. It's fr hi Frank. Hope you enjoy this album as much as I do. Keep the cool, keep being the coolest Frank after Zappa. That is, of course, yes. I'll uh, so definitely defer to the man. It is. It's a Steven mo modern primitive Vi. passion and warfare 25th okay. anniversary. I'm not familiar. And this with the is part. a disc. I will have to Steve listen Kai. to because I'm unfamiliar modern. with it. But it's always good to hear new music. Even if it's old, but if it's new to me, you know what I mean. And it's sealed new. Beautiful. Thank it's, you so much. It feels like a double D, uh, a CD A double set. one, yeah. I mean, a set. And it's beautiful graphics and artwork, which is why I still love the CDs. They flip it over. It's upside down the way they printed it. Oh. There. There we go. Yeah, and um, this is why I still love CDs. Leave, uh, leave the comments whether or not you think it's good music or not. We'll see. No, we'll, we'll I'll have to listen and get back to you. And that was from... That was from the Salty Sailor Tea Daddy. <laughs> this, this one's from Sean from uh, British Columbia, Canada, Frank. I'm gonna open that I think one. he's sent us stuff before. Because I know I we've got I have a letter here too. Elvis Presley from Hawaii. Uh, uh, All right. Uh, I was just talking to uh, one of the receptionists at uh, Caldwell, uh -huh. uh, where I do a lot of gardening work for them, and she was looking at a at a Presley video, and even though she's young, she's totally into Elvis. Yeah, there's some good Elvis so, stuff. And then this shows up like the well, next day. Unbelievable. All right, I got a letter. The psychic connection. A letter, or you want to do one? I'll do one more. Do later. one more, and then we can. Oh, we got that one too. Right. Uh, this is from uh, Chris from. Uh, no, there's nothing in here. That one. Oh, this right. one. Okay. This is from Chris from uh, Louisiana. There okay. So, oh, it's a picture. Oh, I so it. we have a picture. It looks like me. <laughs> Show him. Wait a minute, I want to see. Oh, there's a letter. Okay. I know you love comics, and I had an extra one. So here, hope you enjoy it. Chris Stewart, a.k.a. Cyrus, 649. 649. And he drew a very nice picture. I always appreciate when... You know, someone writes a note or draws something because they're actually thinking about it for all that uh, time, which I now. find amazing. Like and this is oh, what, what if, if classics. classics. Oh, uh, what if is great. I always, they, I always think these are the funniest things for comic books, well, which are made up because it always ends in disaster. And then they will have a so what if or like, an imaginary story, as if like, the comic is real. Okay. That's so, so great. It's like, what if Daredevil wasn't blind? Right. What if um, yeah. Gwen Stacy didn't die? Die. The, the best one ever was what if um, what if uh, Phoenix didn't die? You know, Dark Phoenix uh, saga, Jean Grey. Yeah, and then she so, destroys the entire world, the universe. Yeah. Oh, literally, great. literally, literally, she consumes that's everything. Like, that's, that's great. That's, Thank so, you. <laughs> so. What if the Fantastic Four had not gained their powers? And well, there wouldn't be a comic. Then they'd be the challenges of the unknown. There wouldn't be it wouldn't be a comic I'm, book. So I got to read this. I'll give you the Infinity Gauntlet. And read this. I'm, I love these stories because they always just go haywire. And what would happen? They wouldn't be able to save the world from Galactus. You know, yeah, they, it wouldn't be a comic. But no, be. I always thought this was cool. And DC had one called Imaginary Stories, oh. as if the comic books were actual history. Oh. It was, it's just a funny concept, oh, but is, I love these. This got, is great. We got one for the refrigerator. This is from Ryan. He drew, look how beautiful that is. There's, yeah. Look at that, that's me and Frank drawn. There it is. I'm pre presuming by, by uh, a child. His name's Ryan. Look at that. Look at, look at Very Frank's cool. Face. Thank you. You gotta put this on the fridge, and I guess that's supposed to be me. Um, Let's you have, see. You have a Nintendo, you have, and you have Mega Man, and someone who's calling me during Frank Crate. 
No, I would say that's that's definitely Patrick, and there's no mistake in that ugly face. And thank you so much. Thanks, Ryan. Ryan. This will go on the refrigerator. No, just to take the time yeah, this is great. to think about <laughs> it so much or to think about me. I hate even to say it like that, but I appreciate I'm it so much. This is my wall of games. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah yes. that's exactly what that is. That's that's fantastic. And little little Mega Man. Okay, great. And we have Very one nice. more. And we have one more. There we go. Oh my god. Wow, unbelievable. Windsor. An old school radio. Old school uh, style radio. Style radio. I wonder if it is a radio that actually works. There's an on off and tuning A and F, so maybe it does. Oh, look at the tuning. Oh wow. It probably just needs a battery. This battery it's battery operated, so beautiful. It's, Thank it's, you so it's, much. It's, it's a new radio, but it looks like it's old style. It's it's basically and it was from Midnight mm. the lights. The lights. Is that there, that's probably uh it takes four there's no note four inside. C, four C batteries looks like or yeah. you, or uses a six volt eight uh there's adapter. uh no there oh this would be great because I love to have a radio. Um it has the old tuning where it like goes so slow it barely moves the number. Yeah. That's great. Um there was no note inside. Oh wait, maybe. Okay. So I'm not sure who it's from. But thank you very much, and no please, um, you know, send us some kind of info so I can thank you personally. That's great. Because uh, all it says is from Midnight's Delight. Okay. And uh, from New York, New York, PA, but that could be a clearinghouse for the gifts itself, right? Well, this is a great frame cream. You've got this some comics. This is beautiful. you got your beer. you got a CD. CD, Let's do this. comic CDI. book. Uh, Elvis. Elvis mm -hmm. from Hawaii. And uh, so if you want to send stuff to Frank, I'll put the address right here. It's Frank Crate, Care Pack Country, P.O. Box 7695, San Diego, California, 92167. Um, and then real quick, I'll be at a couple of conventions coming up. I'll be at uh, another gaming convention, and that's going to be in New Jersey, Parsippany, September 10th and 11th. And I'll be back at uh, Retropalooza in Dallas, Fort Worth, and that's going to be uh, September 30th, August 1st, that weekend, whatever that weekend is. So, Frank, good stuff? No, not August 1st. You missed it. What? September, 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 September yeah. October. September okay. 30th, October 1st. I right. No? And he said August. Oh, I would have missed it. September, it's like September 30th, <laughs> October 1st. There it is. All right. That's it for this, Frank. Great. We'll see you now. Oh, sorry. We'll see you next. Well, you're made of like iron. You don't feel anything. <laughs>